All right, guys. This is an exciting video for me. I'm excited because it's about two bike companies that I'm pretty familiar with, that I've had experience with. One, that I actually have the bike. I know it's been a lot of buzz lately about the bike industry and a lot of stuff going on with the companies, layoffs and things like that. But I wanna keep it positive for you guys and give it to you as a good thing for us because we get to take advantage of some of these bike prices and hopefully help the companies out but at the same time be able to help ourselves out and get some nice quality bikes. But before we jump into all that stuff, I have a huge announcement for you guys. I finally started channel memberships. After a while of thinking about it and everything, I wanted to make sure I could give you guys some stuff that I knew I could deliver on and that I feel like that would give you guys some value while also coming closer to each other as me as a creator and knowing more about you guys too. So if you guys are interested in some extra perks, some exclusive content, and a few other things that I think you guys might enjoy, make sure you click that link, I'll leave it in the description. It directly helps the channel out. As always, it's optional, but much appreciated. And thank you guys for all the love and support. Now let's jump into these crazy deals. Now as you guys know, I've been talking a lot about the Specialized Bikes, and I had a few of you guys bring it up to me in the last few videos about Polygon. I see why you guys were so excited about it. Now we jump to the Polygon Siskiyou D6. I wanna give a huge shout out to Trail Features for even introducing me to Polygon and giving me the opportunity to own one because this bike is awesome. And I think a lot of you guys, if you can get your hands on them, they are in stock. All these bikes I talk about today are all in stock. So if you can pick it up, I would do it because you won't be disappointed in my opinion, especially for me having a Polygon for two years now, I think it is. The bike is awesome. I've done some upgrades to mine. I'll show you guys in the video, but this bike is awesome for the price you pay. $11.99 for a quality full suspension bike. Let's check this out. I'm not a huge tech person when it comes to parts and specs, but I do know a little bit about the Polygon and I'll let you guys know the XCR Suntour fork is it's not the highest quality, but it will get you by. It's an air spring fork so you can adjust it to whatever weight you are and that's always a plus. It's of course got lock and unlock. This next thing is huge at this price point because the bike I'll talk about later, it's a little more pricey than this bike, but it doesn't have this. But this Polygon Siskiyou D6 has the dropper post. Now, while it's not the highest quality dropper post, it is a dropper post. It's also got the one by 10 drivetrain. The one by 10 is not too bad. Like I said, I live in Colorado and I have a lot of climbing. So that one by 10 does kind of get to me sometimes when I'm on a steep climb. Generally speaking, in not the craziest terrain, one by 10 is plenty enough. Now this is considered a cross country bike. So it has 120 front, 120 rear but it handles really good. I've taken it down some rough, rough stuff and it, it plowed through it way better than I thought, even with the stock tires. I put aftermarket specialized butcher tires on mine, but even the stock tires, they made it through pretty much everything I put them through and never had a flat tire or anything. But one thing I will say about the rear suspension, it's an X-Fusion shock. It does ride a little rough. So if you want that squishy feel out of the box with this shock, you won't get that with this one. It does give you that full suspension feel, but it's not plush like a lot of other shocks, so do keep that in mind. Now we move over to the Polygon Siskiyou D7, which is a bike I've never checked out or anything, I'll be honest. I mean, it's got the 120 mil fork, 120 mil shock, just like the Polygon Siskiyou D6. It's got the RockShox Recon fork. It's got the RockShox Deluxe Select Plus rear shock. It's $16.99. That's still not a bad price for what you get, but like I said, if you're just getting into the sport and you want a full suspension bike at a decent price with good quality, I would go with the D6, but the D7 is still not a bad bike at all. I think you would be better off with the D7 than the $2,000 stump jumper in my opinion. I think you get a little more value, but let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong about that or would you spend the extra three, $400 and get the stump jumper alloy? I've never ridden the 1x11, it's got the 1x11 Shimano Dior drivetrain, which is always reliable. Never really had problems with Shimano Dior. But yeah, it's overall a quality bike. It's definitely a great price. The Polygon Siskiyou D6 is more bang for buck in my opinion. It all depends on what you want out of a bike, but the Polygon Siskiyou D7, definitely a great deal but I think you'll still be better off with the D6. I also forgot to mention what I do like about 
the Polygon series is the bikes are really nimble. They feel really compact and easy to control. I like that feeling. And also they come in 29 and 27 and a half inch tires. Now it's two more bikes I wanna talk about. I've ridden one of them, but the other one I haven't ridden before. The one I wanna talk about now is the Polygon Sisq T7, which is why I feel like you would be better off with the D6 because if you spend the money on the Polygon Sisq D7, you might as well get the Polygon Sisq T7. Now this is the bike I think you should get if you wanted to move up a little bit and get something a little bit better than the D6, just jump up to the T7 because it's a trail ready bike. It's 140 millimeters of travel. It's got the RockShox Recon, the RockShox Deluxe Select Plus Debon Air. It also has the 1x12 drivetrain. That's always a great thing. It's got Tektro HD brakes. So out of the Polygon series, I think you should either go with the Polygon Sisq D6 or the Polygon Sisq T7 in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below and let me know which bikes you guys have and what you think about them. And last but not least, let's jump into this bike that was also introduced to me from Trail Features and it was a lot of fun. We actually did a video on it, but this bike was a beast. And it's the Moran Rift Zone 1, 29 inch. Now this is the first bike I had ever ridden from Moran and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But we went out to Floyd Hill, which is a popular downhill trail in the Denver area. If you want a trail ready bike and you want bang for your buck, I think the Moran Rift Zone 1 is your best option out of all the bikes I just named. It hits that perfect price point where you get a nice shock, you get a nice fork, and you just get an overall nice trail ready bike. It's got 130 millimeter travel on the front fork. It's a RockShox Recon Silver RL, which is not a bad fork, especially coming out of the box. I mean, that's not too bad. It's got Shimano MT201 hydraulic brakes. I can stand behind Shimano brakes. They've always worked well for me and I don't have any bad things to say about it, so I think those are good quality brakes. It's got the one by 11 drivetrain, which is pretty good. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good range of uh, gears you can use to climb. But with all that being said, the only downside to this bike, at least straight out the box, is it doesn't have a dropper post. Luckily, when Trail Features had me try this bike out, he installed a dropper post himself so I didn't have to go through that torture. This is pretty much stock. The only thing that's different is I've already added a dropper post on there because dropper posts are awesome. I would say that's the only knock against this bike, which is not a big knock because the money you save from it coming from down from $18.99 to $15.99, that's a lot of room to add a dropper post. So I think that's still a great deal, even though you have to add that on later. So I wanted to jump on here and let you guys know about these deals that I really haven't seen anybody talking about. I'm a huge fan of Polygon. I own one. I love it. And that's why I've invested in getting some new parts and everything for it because I think it's got a lot of potential. But this Marin, I was super excited to see that that price dropped because that's an awesome bike. I mean, I think that's the most bang for a buck you can get as far as a trail bike. The only thing is with the direct to consumers, you gotta build the bike, you gotta order it, build it. So it'd probably be better to take it to a store unless you can build it yourself and make sure everything is put together properly. But even when I bought my Roscoe from the Trek store, they still messed up on a couple things and made my dropper post cord too long. So you just never know, but you can find some Marins in stores though, I think. I think I have seen those in a couple stores. I mean, I think these are the best bang for buck you can get. And I wanted to let you guys know what was out here. Even though it's bad stuff going on out there, we can still make something positive out of it. Get us a nice quality bike at a decent price and then just enjoy the ride. I really hope you guys found value in this this video and make sure if you want to join the channel hit that link below it'll be really really appreciated but it's not mandatory remember that but until next time thank you guys for watching the video make sure you check one of these videos out if you want to see more content from me and I'll see you guys later